I think it restarted me. I don't know. Next, well, last card was movie, Meet Joe Black. Definitely want to check that out. It was Anthony Hopkins, uh, Brad Pitt, and that, I forget her name. She's really pretty, though. Change your passwords. Yep, and I'm going to keep writing these and putting them in as many times as I do these cards because it's very important that you do, I would say, every 7 to 14 days now. Less and less time because people are moving faster and faster and getting away with things much, much easier. It is... Is it that hard? Just be honest with me. Yeah, I just... I mean, it's done now. What's the purpose of being afraid of the truth or, or hiding the truth? Just, just to keep it real. You know, we can agree to disagree and keep pushing or, or agree to disagree and forge a force and push together or... I don't know, but something can be done instead of all this unnecessary tension that may be building somewhere that has no bearings on it. <laughs> Next card is, you have earned, look at that. You have earned the right to talk. Yo, <laughs> So do it. Humbly, with grace and favor, but do it. Uh, D'Angelo. Untitled. How does it feel? Woo, when that song came out. Have it your way. Okay, metaphysical. Esoteric came out earlier, religious the other day. Now we're metaphysical, okay? Defin definition of metaphysical is the essentially metaphysically question of the nature of the mind. An idea, doctrine, or reality outside of the human sense perception. Okay? Metaphysical. The essentially metaphysical, a question of the nature of the mind, an idea, doctrine, or reality outside of human sense perception. Okay. Next is compliment a co-worker, hug a family member, spend quality time with your pets. Yeah. Moving love and light, baby. And yep, last card is Thomas. First, middle, last, person, place, or thing, however it may relate in your life. We're going to do recap, then the tops, calendar, and I'll get you one or maybe two oracles. So Thomas, Cole, Peru, Ronald, Lester, Abasi, uh, I got to turn it around so I can see it, Plutarch, Miller, did Thomas already come out? Yeah. Okay. Locations were Mount Mayon. Uh, songs, Best of Me, Anthony Hamilton, and Beyonce. Shine and shine and shine and shine and y'all. <laughs> All of this winning. I ain't been losing my mind. Oh. Hola. Don't. <laughs> Meet your black, the movie. The Bite, the TV series on demand, and Gladiator, the movie. Okay, and then Taurus came out. Um, Capricorn and Scorpio. Wow. Ah. First top is... <coughs> I'm drinking some of this bottle of oxygen in a minute, y'all. <laughs> They'll tell you anything to sell it, right? First top is... Oracle cards, a daily message for spiritual... Okay, so what are oracle cards? They're a daily message for spiritual guidance. That's what I'm about to read to you. That's what they are. Okay, that's that top. Let me put that here. Ah. Next top is positive affirmation. Okay, so I am in control of my life today will be a great day. I focus on what I want and everything in life happens for me. Positive affirmations, my love. Yes. Okay, and the last top is, my phone is ringing, I'm gonna check it in one second. Let me do this last top. Mermaid. <laughs> you guys be aware. Give me a second, I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So the last card we did was the final top, which was Mermaid. Uh, I had to make a call. That was money related. So, you know, single parent, got things to do, places to go, people to meet. So, anyway, Mermaid was the last card from the 
third top. And next we're going to go into the calendar. We end up with D'Angelo. How does it feel? Next is Lauren Hill X Factor. Today is 4-4-2022. 4 4 That's another 4-4-4-4-4-4 four, 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 actually. 4 horse. Okay, so 4-4. Four, four. Here we go. May the 4th, Miracles or Wednesday in Spanish? I, I think so. I think it is. 2022, May the 4th. It says, one of the biggest banana peels on the road to success is fragmenting your time and focus. If you're all over the place, you're half-assing a bunch of different things instead of kicking ass at one thing. True. So, and right now, if you're in the middle of multiple projects, you want to focus on each project um, intricately. Once you're into one, fully focus into that one and complete the benchmarks in which um, will get you to your final destination and whatever uh, agenda or whatever you might be doing. But you want to focus on that. You don't want to do a little bit of this and then stop it and go to this, this, and this, like the call. You know, um, although it is money related and, you know, you have to have money to live in this, this world. Not really, but you do to actually get off the grid. You need to be able to migrate. But anyway, just be advised, be aware that you have to focus. You have to beeline. You have to tunnel vision. Whatever it is that you're trying to relay the message into the world. And that's how the message is relayed. Not when you halfway deliver, but you fully deliver. Like now, I'm, I'm super, super tired. I could fall asleep right now. But I know I can't because I have a message that I have to give out. So many beautiful things have happened in my life just within the last 48 hours. You know, when you're not grateful and you're not thankful and you don't return the love that was given to you, you know, that could be seen as breadcrumbing of some sort. And I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be considered someone that doesn't return the love that I receive. Can't find my incense. Well, that's okay. Can't really see the smoke today anyway. I have on the air purifier. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the mystical, magical messages from the fairy oracle deck. Okay, now I'll put the camera down. We already did the calendar. We did the cards. I don't see my incense anywhere. If y'all see them while I'm up here, text me. Let me know if you have my number. Oh, by the way, in the next probably six days, every number that you don't already have or that hasn't been updated or changed will be changed permanently so a lot of the numbers that people would have reached me on before will no longer be available and you know uh, i'm being advised to do it temporarily by uh, affiliates and things of that nature but for me i'll think about it anyway okay so So we got four on four four listen to that okay so first one says whom do you need to forgive and what did the card say earlier you have to feel it embrace it understand it and then move on so who do you have to forgive as you release old anger or resentment you will find that your wishes will come true forgive them sweetie spring okay and it says your desires fully manifest as the flowers bloom, begin to bloom. Children. Your connection with children is a part of your life's purpose. I can believe that for me. Children gravitate to me and I love it because I'm able to teach and reach. And even if the parents aren't there at first with the uh, excitement and enticing um, chemistry it is with their children to return over and over and share the stories, they come around and it's a beautiful thing. Last card is patience, please. Yeah, be patient. It's coming, baby. Um, what you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. Okay, and then the bottom of the deck we'll do as a bonus. What does that say? 
Love life. <laughs> uh, the basis of your questions involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. Okay. Beautiful thing. Be advised, be aware. We're next going to do, we didn't do our bell, but it wants to be wrong. You just heard it, baby. So I'll ring it just to break up the energy. And while I'm shuffling, you guys can go ahead and do your deep breath in. Gathering negativity, any negative thoughts, energy, feelings, or residue remaining. Gather it into that deep inhale through the nose. Hold it for a count of four. And then blow that out for a count of four. Once you're blowing it out, imagine yourself releasing all that negative energy, information, uh, thoughts, or anything that you gathered up with the inhale. As you exhale, release it and blow it out to the nature and allow the universe to transmute that for you. Oops. Not yet. Still shuffling. Goodness. Great. Okay. So that wanted to come out. Great. Hold on now. Can I shuffle? One second, one second, give me a second, okay? Alright. Let me cut. Next is Leela James. When you I don't think that's the whole title of it, but let me see. When you love somebody. Hold on for a second. Oh. All right, so the first card is Leap. This is the one that jumped out before I could finish shuffling, but it wanted to be seen. So it says, you go first, the universe will catch you. Yeah, whatever you're thinking about, do it. You jump first, the universe by all means will absolutely catch you. Next card is Get Grounded. Empath, highly sensitive, Connect with nature. Yep, just like I was doing today out in nature, taking those paths on those windy roads and all up in the trees with the birds and the butterflies. Get out in nature, put some, your feet in the grass or in some water or whatever you can do. Relax and relate in nature, especially if you're an empath. Next is don't dim to fit in. Yes, be unapologetically yourself. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Okay. If you're doing something you don't really want to do, stop. Not that it's not that hard okay and then the final card is protection call back your power cut the cord soul retrieval absolutely call back your power cut the cord soul retrieval okay and then the bottom of the deck is anna grandmother of jesus sending the light laying foundations divine plan didn't divine timing just come up in the other cards look at that that's beautiful right Getting another call, you guys. I gotta. <laughs> nope, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so we did the calendar. We did both sets of Oracle. Oh, we actually did everything. Uh, we did both sets, the calendar. I rung the bell. I'm gonna give you one more card. Let me let King Sabi pick it. Sabier! Can you come down? Sabi! Sabi! He might be sleepy, guys. Hold on a second. Hey, you guys. King Savvy. Yes. So which ones, baby? Which ones did you pick? The unicorns? Mm -hmm. And these. Okay, I did these yesterday, but we'll do them again since you pick them. Matter of fact, since you're in here, how about you pick the card? I'm going to spread them out. And what you do is you spread them out. It says spread them out like a three-year-old. That's what it says in the directions. Yeah, it says it in here. And then you just pick one. You want to read it? I don't know what this is. This is All this is suggestions of others. Okay. See the directions? Yeah. Right here. 
All right, so turn the cards face down on the table in front of you and shuffle them the way a three-year-old would. Where is it? The second paragraph. Right there. All right. Take a eye. All right, so I'm going to put the camera down because they got to see you pick. All right, you guys. So we're doing the affirmations again, and I'm going to have the star seed to see pick these cards. And want you guys to receive an affirmation. I'm going to have him select two. And maybe we'll take the bottom two. Let me move this. I can't find me any incense. Do you see any sticking out anywhere? No. Right on that table or anything? No. You didn't look. Okay. Can I do the spread? No, it's already spread. It just pick two. You want them two? Yeah. You didn't want to pick deeper? No. Okay. Thank you, King. Okay. You okay? Um, now you know you want to get some clean clothes from when we was working out and stuff. And because look at the back of your shirt, go look in the mirror. I'm just telling you. First card he picked was peacefulness, and it says, I have peacefulness, I have peaceful, tranquil, I have peaceful, tranquil, and untroubled. I have a peaceful, tranquil, and untroubled heart. This is where I choose to spend my time. I can bring guests. But any person thought, or even that brings drama or chaos, is not invited. My heart is a special property, and I'm going to keep it that way so we can all keep enjoying it, and I can get my security deposit back. <laughs> Peacefulness. That's cute. And the next one he picked was joy. Look at that. Star C wants peace and joy, just like his mom. I love it. So this one says, to enjoy everything, I simply need to add joy to it. Joy is like butter. I can put it on anything, and it'll make it it'll make it way better. Today, I will add joy to everything. Really slather it on. Today, I am the over Redenbacher of joy. And life's popcorn is about to get it! <laughs> yeah, so your joy is like butter, and use it in that way. Then we'll see. Kim, why would you stay? Wow. Bottom of the deck is, ooh, manifestation. Check that out. And it says, if you could have anything you wanted, what would it be? Get specific and get greedy. You are holding a magic wand and you can conjure up anything. Could it be that when you declare your wishes out loud, you're actually casting a spell for your dreams to come true? Or is it just that in a very practical sense the more people you speak with about your desires the more folks there are who know what you want and might have the means to help you make that happen either way stop waiting and start manifesting but do not use the car do do not use the word if you don't want to okay so manifestation is very important and that actually came out in the cards where it said let me see if i can find it it says it was angel number three, was it 381? Let's see. Then I'll go up. Here it is. Angel number 351. So it came out in the affirmations and then in the cards. Angel number 351. What does that say? Extreme power is given to you. You can do whatever you want in life. Now, manifestation came, card came out along with joy. Peacefulness, manifestation. Go ahead and get your manifestations in order. Set your intentions. Speak it directly. You know, get out and see if other people are interested in making your dream a part of their dream. Because a lot of people are on the same path you're on, but they don't know that because you don't speak to them or you may not know them. You know, like I said today, I was, I was working out and to my amazement, I saw a much older man as well working out and he... He ran faster than I ever ran when I was in high school, when I was young, honey. And, uh, but that's because I had very, I was very top heavy back then. I had to get a breast reduction due to back issues with a car accident. But anyway, he was, I mean, he was, he was flying down the field. So I got over to the track where he was running it and I was like, bravo, great job, whatever. You know, I was just watching him work out. And he finally let me know he had a track meet coming up. And he was like, how old do you think I am? And we were like, I don't know, what, about 45? He was like, nope, 67 or 68 or something like that. He looked so good. And he was still sprinting down that uh, track, and not the track, but the football field, like it was nothing. So, you know, you can't put 
a limit on people because of their age. Some older people are in much better condition than some of these young people because they live off processed foods, you know, and that's just what it is nowadays. So I don't know. I like all people. I, I kind of gravitate towards the elders and the babies. I don't know why and they gravitate towards me. But, um, you know, it's been an amazing journey. And I've met so many interesting and beautiful people here lately. I love you all. I do, I do, I do. And there's nothing you can do about it. I am love. I move in love. I love love. And, you know, you become love. And then true love finds you. So, it is what it is. But I'm going to get out of here, you guys. Take these old lady glasses off because I'm tired now. If I take my... my uh, earrings off and hop in the shower and just kick back and, and get me some early rest I've, I've been up since about i don't know 8 30 i think when i got the call that i was already what an hour and a half it might have been 8 30 or 9 30 i don't know but i was already late okay i was already supposed to have been there but um anyway i've been up a long day doing quite a few things and it's been so filling and so loving but now it's time for me. So I got to love on me, and that's part of my day. And I hope you create space and place in your schedule to love on yourself as well. I got to go, though. I love you all. I do. I do. I do. And there's nothing you can do about it. As we exit, flow a tree. Hold on. I got to let you hear this. What are they going to do? At the end, at the end, y'all. Come on now. Hey, when I try to say hello to you, this is Flow Tree Butterflies. I thought it was Michael Jackson at first because he uses the same beat. But when I'm trying to get through Marsha Ambrosia, Michael Jackson video. Let's see, maybe he's in this one. He's definitely on the song. Alright, I gotta go, y'all. I'm gonna get into my music therapy. I hope you all have a wonderful day. You will see me again soon. Probably today, tomorrow. I don't know. What'll be soon? Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> have a good day.